I'm such a big baby. I love him so much. Okay, so when I know this sounds silly, but this is just something that gentlemen should do, that men should do more often. Welcome back to Humble Homemaking. This is a long-awaited episode that I said I was going to be making weeks ago and I am finally getting around to it. This is the video of how I knew my husband was the one. So, so because this video is so long, I am making this a part one and a part two video. So this is part one of part two. When I first started to embrace my femininity more and embrace who I was raised to be, I was in a toxic relationship and basically doing the things that I was doing to embrace my femininity gave me the proof I needed to realize that I was in the wrong relationship. Now, I don't want to talk badly about my ex. I don't want to bring up his name or bring up too many details. I will say that something that a wise woman that I know told me was that he's not a bad guy, he's the wrong guy. Meaning that there's somebody out there for everybody and I'm just not the type of girl that's going to bring out the best in him and he's not the type of guy who's gonna bring out the best in me. So with that being said, that explains what I am going to say now, which is when I started to embrace my femininity, taking care of my appearance more, wanting him to lead more, he didn't want to do any of those things, he wasn't he didn't show that he wanted to take the lead. He had a hard time making decisions. I'm not going to explain everything my ex did, but know this, everything that I will be listing off in this video of how I knew my husband was the one, make that the opposite thing. And that is what my past relationship was, was basically the opposite. That's how I knew my husband was the one because everything with him was the opposite or was things that I had never felt before. My husband doesn't have to try, he just naturally is. He's naturally confident, naturally passionate, naturally everything that I'm going to list off. It is not a forced thing with him, it is just something that comes naturally to him. He is not afraid to take charge of the situation. He is not afraid to, what's the phrase, grab the bull by the horns and take charge, take the lead, take care of the situation. He is not indecisive in the same way that I am indecisive, which is why we are a perfect balance for each other. He is passionate. He is so passionate about so many good values of family and tradition and hard work and providing. There is just passion that you can see in his eyes when he is doing something that he loves doing. My husband knows what he wants and he goes for it. He does not appear lost or purposeless. He knows what he ha always has that drive. He sees opportunity in everything, including failure. He doesn't let a setback stop him. He doesn't give up. If he fails at something, he knows what he needs to not do or what he needs to do, and he continues to strive for whatever he is working for or working toward. He is never a quitter, like I said. He knows what he has to do. He doesn't just give up on things. He might take a little break or a little breather, but I'm telling you, he it doesn't take him very long to figure out what he needs to do. I've just never seen this man give up. My husband values hard work and he is not afraid to get his hands dirty. One of his mottos is slow and steady wins the race meaning that persistency is the key to success. He is never in a hurry and knows that good things take time. This is a perfect balance for me because I am somebody who kind of rushes things or I try and hurry him up with things or I try and ask a bunch of questions to see what we can do to hurry things up and he's just always very calm and collected and he knows that Good things take time and there's no reason to rush things because everything will happen when it's supposed to happen. As long as we are persistent and consistent with things, things will line up and things will happen. He's never arrogant or pushy towards me or towards other people. Watching how he works and treats others shows how much of a natural leader he is. He takes care of himself and values a strong manly appearance. He has a beard but he keeps it nice and clean. He takes care of himself by working out and eating healthy. He knows the importance of physical mental and spiritual health and he values those things so he takes care of himself so my husband is physically strong but he is not afraid to ask for help when he needs it now I don't mean to brag but I can deadlift a pretty good amount of weight he is not afraid to ask for help when he needs it so if he needs help lifting something 
He's not afraid to ask me. He doesn't feel less manly because he has to ask me for help. He doesn't feel less manly if he has to call up one of his male buddies to help him move something. It doesn't take away from his manliness. It's not egotistical like that, and he knows he's strong, but he knows that he can't handle everything on his own. My husband knows who he is, what he values, and stands up for what he believes in. He is one of the reasons why my confidence has increased because he showed me by leading through example that he is so sure of himself and he knows who he is and what he values. He doesn't change the values for the people he's around. He stands firm in them, he knows what he believes in, and he just knows who he is. He does not fill up his mind with worry. He finds it pointless to worry about the things in the future that are unpredictable. He finds it pointless to worry about things that he cannot change. So instead, he focuses on the things he can change and prepare for. I am naturally a more anxious person, so this balance of having him where he's just not worried about the future in the same ways that I am, helps to calm my nerves down because he helps to ease my worries, ease my fears, ease my anxieties about the future. And this has helped to teach me to learn to prepare for things and learn to take the measures I need to, to not worry about the future and to realize that I can't control the future. My husband is very brave. He faces his fears head on. He doesn't let them control him. For example, I watch the news and I read things and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid to go out in public. I'm afraid to go to the stores now. And he's like, we're going to the store. Let's go. We're not going to not go to the store. He knows and understands that there is danger that lurks in this world, but he is not going to let that stop him from going shopping or going to enjoy an event because because of a little fear. Why do I want to cry right now? I just love talking about him. I love him that much that <sighs> just makes me want to cry talking about him because <sighs> he reminds me that chivalry is not dead. Now, obviously I can open my own car door and I can open the door to a store. I can load my own groceries, but since being with him, he's never like he has never not opened the car door for me. I'm such a big baby. I love him so much. Okay, so when I know this sounds silly, but this is just something that gentlemen should do, that men should do more often. The art of chivalry and the beauty of it. And so I am just so grateful that he shows me that chivalry isn't dead. That he does little things like that that show me that I'm a woman and that he cares about me. And okay, this probably isn't going to be my first set of tears for this video because I seriously... Woo. He always makes me feel safe and secure emotionally, physically, and financially. Let's start with financially. He provides for me. He works hard. He, I have seen him work so hard do, and do things that I wouldn't be able to do. He stayed up for 24 hours before working, working his butt off to make sure that things were completed and things were done for work. And I wouldn't be able to do that. I can't handle that. So I'm so, so grateful for that. Physically, I feel, I just feel safe around him. I feel safe knowing that I have a man next to me that is going to protect me and protect our son and our future children. He just makes me feel protected and safe and not in a controlling way. I hope that some of you women aren't watching like, wow, she's such a big baby. She can't take care of herself. She can't defend herself. She can't verbally speak up for herself. I can, it's just so nice to have a man by my side that is willing to stand up for me if and when he needs to. Emotionally, he makes me feel safe because he never makes me question his love. He never makes me feel like he doesn't love me. He always does things to show me that he cares and to show me that he loves me. He is not afraid to defend his family. Husband encourages me to take chances. He helps me to get closer to reaching goals. So an example is that I didn't want to start a YouTube channel. I was just going to make videos and post them, 10 minute long videos, because that's the limit on IGTV, but I was just gonna post them there. And he was the one that was like, why don't you start a YouTube? He is financially stable. Even in the worst of times, financially, he's still made a way to figure things out. He's always had a backup plan. He's always had emergency funds. There has never been a moment where I have felt financially unstable because he is so good with his money. 
My husband is not a people pleaser. This is another reason why I knew he was the one because he didn't just say things to say things or not say things to not hurt somebody's feelings. He doesn't go out of his way to hurt people's feelings, of course. He doesn't care if somebody doesn't like him because of what his beliefs are or what he says. He will speak his mind. He doesn't do it in an arrogant way. He's one of the reasons why I realized like I can't force everybody to like me. If something needs to be said and something is a fact, he will say it. He's not gonna sugarcoat it for the sake of sparing feelings. Another reason why I knew my husband was the one is because he doesn't let me boss him around or tell him what to do. He is not afraid to say no to me if he needs to say no to me about something. He treats me with the utmost respect and he loves me and he values me but the last thing he will let me do is put him on a leash and control him. And I think that's something that I see a lot of men bowing down to and doing is letting their girlfriends or their wives take their dignity as men and control them. And that was something that my ex used to let me do and let me control him and I never felt natural doing it, but because he let me do it, I continued to do it and I got worse doing it because he let me control him that way. So being with my husband, he really like put me back in my place. And I don't mean that in a demeaning way. I don't mean that in a controlling way. I told me straight up, you are not going to control me. You are not going to tell me how to live my life or tell me what to do because that is going to create resentment. So what I see a lot of women doing is they control their men and the men let them and that takes away the natural femininity of the woman and that takes away the natural masculinity of the man. So as a woman in a relationship, let your man lead, let him take control and watch your femininity enhance and watch his masculinity enhance. Both of you will grow if you guys both let your natural feminine and masculine energies grow together. I hope you all enjoyed the first part of this video. If you liked this video, please leave me a comment, hit the like button, and of course subscribe with the notification bell so that you know when part two goes live. I will see you all next time.